Module 1 of the FA Youth Award started us off on a journey into a deeper understanding of coaching young players by looking at the players holistically in the four corners of development, technical, physical, psychological and social, and developing the right environment in which these players can practice and play matches. In order to understand the coaching of young players, coaches need to understand the players as well as the game itself. And this is what Module 1 sets out to do. It covered, for example, key issues in coaching, such as motivation, self-esteem, how to manage mistakes and help players learn. The course also stressed how essential it was for young players to develop the right physical skills and those fundamental movements associated with agility, balance, coordination and speed. Particularly for the player under the age of 12, where the window of opportunity for developing these skills is wide open. Making the children feel included and able to make mistakes underpinned the ethos of the course, as well as designing game-like activities with plenty of decision-making that enables the players to practice in an environment that's positive, enjoyable, and most importantly, player-centered. Module 2 of the Youth Award carries on from the Module 1, looking, as always, at the player holistically in the four corners. Students should bring to the course all the elements that they've learned from Module 1 and practical experiences of its effect. Coaches are assumed to arrive at the course understanding what makes a positive learning environment and how we, as coaches, can maintain it in practice and in matches. The Module 2 now delves into practice, knowing what practice does and what it does not do for the players is an essential skill of the coach. So understanding practice is the first step towards developing it. As with Module 1, the course is another journey towards understanding and reflection, why we do things and for what reason. Module 2 of the FA Youth Award looks at practice in relation to the age, ability, maturity and experience of the players it's meant to serve, and what effective practice looks like for grassroots under 8 or a talented under 14 year old. Practice can be seen simply as a means to an end, and normally the end is a match at the weekend. Helping players to deal with the match is vital. So, coaches need to design and deliver challenging, motivating, enjoyable, realistic and relevant practices that benefit all players. This is the job of the coach. Understanding practice, then, is equally important as understanding the players and, indeed, the game itself.